cybersecurity isn't just hard, it's war. Against time, against yourself, against everything you don't know yet. It's a field where the rules change weekly, the tools break monthly, and you're always 10 steps behind the next threat. You think you figured something out? Boom. A new exploit drops. A new CVE. A new zero day. A new rabbit hole. And while you're trying to learn, your brain screams, Am I even good enough for this? So you do what most beginners do. Buy a course. Watch two modules. Get distracted. Buy another one. Repeat. Certs piling up. Tabs open. Nothing finished. You chase shiny tools instead of mastering concepts. You want results without the repetition. You want skill without the suffering that forges it. But listen, cybersecurity isn't Netflix. You can't become great just by watching shows all day. You have to bleed knowledge. You have to break, rebuild, and repeat. It's not about knowing every tool. It's not about copying commands from GitHub. The real skill is in how you think. Can you break something and then explain how you did it? Can you reverse engineer not just code, but intent? Can you sit for hours, days, weeks on one vulnerability without quitting? The most important skill in cybersecurity? Relentless curiosity backed by ruthless consistency. You're not here to be average. Okay. You're here because something in you refuses to accept normal. When others scroll, you scan packets. When others sleep, you hunt in labs. You're the glitch in the system, and that's your superpower. So when it gets hard, and it will, don't quit. Don't bounce to another course. Sit in the storm. Let it sharpen you. Because one day someone will ask, how did you learn all this? And all you'll say is, I never stopped. You find a vulnerability, a real one. XSS, IDER, broken auth, whatever it is, like, you found a crack in the system. Your heart races. You feel like a king. But then, you freeze. Where do I report it? Will I get sued? What's a disclosure policy? How do I write a report that doesn't sound dumb? Will they even pay me? No one talks about this part. You scroll through bug crowd, hacker one, integrity, but it feels like a maze. You watch people post $5,000 bounties while you sit with a browser tab full of potential gold you don't know how to cash in, and then you quit. But here's the secret, the real hackers, they didn't stop there. They learned how to read a company's security text files, submit through vulnerability disclosure programs, use platforms like HackerOne, Yes We Hack, Bug Crowd, with clean, respectful write-ups. Understand the fix? Analyze the patch. Learn the defense. Because knowing how to hack is only half the battle. The other half is communication. Responsibly weaponizing your knowledge might so it helps, not harms. And the wild part? Companies want to pay you for that. Apple's paid millions. Meta and Google throw tens of thousands for clean reports. Even the U.S. government has a seat at the table. But it's not about luck. It's about knowing how to show your work. Clearly, confidently, ethically. But only if you learn how to show your work. If you're just starting out, here's where the heat is right now. Penetration testing. Red teaming SOC analyst cloud security application security and AI powered cyber defense start small. Go deep, don't rush. Pick one path, like web hacking, SOC, or pen testing. Set a 30 day goal that's build something, break something. Search to chase as a beginner, CompTIA Security Plus. Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. EJPT or PNPT and Google Cyber Security Certificate. But don't just collect badges. Collect scars, experience, failures that taught you more than any course ever could. You were born to break limits, not just systems. You finally do it. So when you feel stuck, remember, even the best hackers started confused. What separates them is that they kept pushing. They learned the boring stuff, the write-ups, the disclosure rules, the patch notes. They became more than dangerous. They became professional. And if they can do it, so you can. You made it this far? That says something. You're not here for shortcuts. You're here for skill. And in this field, that mindset, it's rare. So don't let it die. Keep building. Keep breaking. Keep showing up when it's boring, confusing, or just plain hard. Because that's where legends are made. Not in tutorials, but in persistence. So smash that like, hit subscribe, drop a comment, and share this with someone who's stuck. And I'll see you in the next one.